Energy. The sun never dims. Its energy seems boundless. The sun has resources to burn. Not so long ago, man learned to extract energy from the natural resources of this planet. Many of these resources are limited, and older technologies consume a significant amount of these resources inefficiently. But today's modern technologies can help us to use these limited resources more efficiently. Modern technologies can add intelligence to the buildings and homes in which we live. Modern technologies can provide security, automatically calling for help when it's needed. Modern technologies can entertain us with home theaters and enhanced audio video systems. Modern technologies can offer conveniences such as remote controls and automatic lighting. Modern technologies can help us live in comfort, enhancing our lifestyles. And if that weren't enough, modern technologies can manage the many systems and devices that surround us and help us use our resources more efficiently. Efficient management of these resources produces lower operating costs and lower maintenance costs. By using resources wisely, modern technologies give money back to the homeowner in the form of savings. Modern technologies can reduce a homeowner's monthly maintenance and utility expenses by as much as 30 to 50 percent and more. And that's money in your hands. Money from today's modern technologies for intelligent homes. What are these modern technologies that can do all this? Here to tell you are David Gaddis, author of the book, Understanding and Installing Home Systems, How to Automate Your Home, and his co-host, Sean Carey. Hello. For the next 30 minutes, we'd like to take you through a brief tour of modern technology for homes. These technologies are not science fiction, and they aren't available only to the rich and famous. These technologies are available for any home, and as you'll see, the cost is very reasonable. There are lots of products that are available to help bring intelligence into your home. These products differ in cost, features, simplicity. Your dealer will help you select the best products to use to meet your needs. Okay, let's take that tour now and see some of the possibilities. You're on the way home when the car phone rings. When you answer the call, you find that you're talking to a friend that is at the front door of your home. After a brief discussion, you tell the friend that you will soon be home and invite her to wait inside. You unlock the front door and disarm the security system by pressing a few buttons on your car phone. As your guest enters the home, you press several more buttons on the car phone to turn on the CD player. When the friend enters, motion detectors sense her location and automatically turn on lights and adjust the temperature in that room. When you arrive at the home, sensors detect your vehicle and automatically open the garage door for you and turn on the outside lights. As you enter through the back way, you notice that the spa comes on. Apparently, your husband is using his car phone on the way home, and he has plans of his own. After entering the home, the husband joins his wife and guests in the living room. Suddenly, the CD player goes quiet, the doorbell rings, and the television comes on, showing another friend at the front door. You pick up a nearby telephone and invite him in. Realizing that plans have changed, you touch a couple of buttons on the telephone to turn the spa back off. Hi, David. How are you? Hey, Mark. Good to see you. Hi, Good David. You hey, Rick. Good Hi, to Lynn. see you. John, nice to see you again. Have a seat, David. Well, thank you. Have you Mark, seen the match? No, I haven't. Got it was on. You want to do it? Sure, let's do it. Okay. With a home theater and surround sound speakers built in, the experience is almost like being there. Okay. Come on here. Okay, great. Sure. Your friend brought a movie that seems much more interesting than the match. You pop it in the VCR player that's located in that room, but you don't have to watch it there. It can be seen from any television in the home. Moving into the entertainment room, the lights and heater come on. You pick up the remote control to turn on the television in that room and start the VCR that's in the other room. During the match, the son suddenly appears and asks for permission to spend the night with a friend. Hey, Dad, can I spend the night at Eric's house tonight? He has a new video game. 
Sure, it's fine with me as long as it's okay with your mother. I think she's in the theater room. All right, hold on. You want to miss it, right? Mom, can I spend the night at Eric's house tonight? He has a new video game. Um, have you finished all your homework? Uh, yeah. Okay, then that's fine. You can spend the night, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye, have a good time. All right, yes! Eric? Okay. Let's catch a pig. Later on that night, when awakened by a noise, you press one button on a nearby remote control that turns on all lights inside and outside the home. Turning on the television to the backyard channel, you notice that it is only the dog. Switching channels, you notice that your daughters are safe in their rooms. And all is quiet. Pressing another button on the remote turns the television and lights back off. When the alarm goes off the next morning, the television automatically comes on with your at. favorite morning show. The bathroom lights come on, hair rollers start warming, the coffee starts brewing, and the inside air temperature is restored in the main living areas. On your way out, you press a single button near the door that causes the garage door to open, the lights to turn off, the temperature to set back, and the security system to arm. Down the road, you suddenly remember that you forgot to turn off the iron. No problem. Pick up the phone, and you can call the home to turn the iron off from anywhere in the world. As we said earlier, this is not science fiction. This is today's technology, and you can see how it truly can enhance your lifestyle. And it doesn't take a degree in electrical engineering to use it. Or a lot of money. There are many products, methods, options, and conditions that affect cost. Individually, many of the components of the systems that we reviewed in our tour are available for a few hundred dollars. Now, this represents a very small portion of the investment that most people make in a home. But we're only looking at the upfront cost here. What about the cost over the long term? To consider the long term costs, Subtract the amount of savings from the initial costs. Since all homes are not created equally, there is no single rule that can be applied here. According to figures recently released by the National Association of Home Builders, about 55% of a home's energy consumption goes to heating and cooling. 20% goes to lighting, cooking, and other appliances. 15% goes to water heating, and 10% goes to refrigerators and freezers. Now, when modern technology is installed to control and regulate these systems, watch what happens. A simple 10-degree setback twice a day, for example, can produce an average savings in the range of 18 to 30 percent. Heating and air conditioning systems that are designed to provide control of individual rooms or zones can produce an additional 5 to 10 percent efficiency. The averages of those percentages is then 24 percent for the setback savings, and 7.5% for the individual zoned control, or a total of 31.5%. The greatest savings to lights and appliances comes from turning them off when not in use. Additional savings can be generated by having the system open drapes instead of turning on the lights during the day. Of course, the amount of this savings is going to depend upon the habits of the home's users, and a 5 to 7% savings is realistic in many cases. The savings to water heaters is dependent upon the age of the water heater. As an average, it's realistic to produce a 3 to 5 percent savings from automating water heaters. Assuming a 31.5 percent savings from heating and air conditioning management plus 6 percent from lights and appliances and 4 percent from the water heater, these technologies can produce a realistic total energy savings in the range of 41.5 percent. For a home with a $200 per month utility cost, this equates to $83 per month or $996 per year. This example is provided as a model. Of course, no one guarantees how much savings a particular home will have, but these numbers are realistic for many homes. The most significant variables include geographic location, the construction of the home, the habits of the users, and the actual products and systems that are involved. If you include assumptions that the cost of money is 8.5% and the lifespan is 20 years, such as currently available for many home mortgages, then the savings breaks even with an initial cost of approximately $9,564. Spreading the cost on a 30-year mortgage increases the break-even cost to approximately $10,795. The actual cost of the components necessary to achieve these results can be far less than these long-term savings. 
So from this point of view, you can actually enjoy many of the features and benefits of an intelligent home and end up money ahead.